I think I got it. Everybody, thank you very much for attending the Youngstown State session. Sorry about that delay there. We had some technical difficulties. I it was my fault. <laughs> I appreciate you hanging in there. Let me share my screen real quick. Sorry about that. No problem. So for those of you that are in this session, uh, we want to welcome you. My name is Bill D'Amico. I'm the Associate Director in the Office of Missions at Youngstown State University. I want to let you know that if you have any questions about Youngstown State during this session, you will notice that there is actually an icon for chatting. So if at any point you have any questions, please feel free to submit your questions through that chat feature and we'd be more than happy to answer those for you. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and move on here. So today in this virtual presentation, we're going to go over a lot of different things. I'm going to try to pack as much information I can into a half hour as possible. At the end of the presentation, we actually have one of our current students, Mario, on, who's going to talk a little bit about his student experience. I also want to let you know that Youngstown State University is currently open for uh, regular visits, in-person visits. So if you'd like to come and check out campus for yourself, please go to our visit.ysu.edu page where you can select a day and time to come visit. We also have virtual visit options. If you'd like to take a virtual tour of campus or a virtual tour of our residence halls, please again, feel free to stop by there and check out that and a bunch of other resources that we have on hand. So just to give you a brief overview of Youngstown State University, Youngstown State is a division one mid-size urban research institution. One of the things that I really liked about being a student at Youngstown State University is that we have all the benefits of being a larger school. As you can see, $39 million in research available to undergraduate students, Division I sports, 115 different academic programs, tons of different student experiential learning opportunities, student organizations, everything you'd expect to find at a larger school. But at the same time, you'll notice your average class size at YSU is 26 students. So you're not going to be in those gigantic stadium seated classrooms where no one gets to know anybody and the, the teacher looks like a little ant down there in a sea of people. It's going to be probably very similar to what you're used to at the high school level. You're going to get to know your classmates, faculty is going to call you out by name. You're going to complain about the homework together. You're going to study together. You're just going to make some really great connections both in and outside of the classroom. At Youngstown State University, there are really three main things that are going to make up your student experience. First and foremost, obviously, is academics. So whether you have a major that you're interested in mind or you're undetermined, I want to let you know that Youngstown State University has so many different majors to choose from. We have everything from engineering in our STEM college, um, nursing programs, dental hygiene, physical therapy. We have the Williamson College of Business Administration. We have every type of education program from pre-K to 12 that you'd want to go into. We have the Dana School of Music, which is one of the oldest music programs in the country. We have criminal justice. We have forensic science. We have sports broadcasting. I mean, there's so many different areas for you to study. So whatever your interests are, I'm quite certain that there'll be something for you at Youngstown State. Aside from that, there's a bunch of uh, research opportunities and experiential learning that takes place. So not only do we want you to get the learning in the classroom, we want you to take that theory and we want you to practice it outside the classroom. So whether you want to do internships or co-ops, we have students right now that are uh, on patents and are published and doing research with faculty outside the class. Even our Honors College, a really great program for students that have a 3.5 GPA and either a 26 ACT or 1240 SAT, you can apply for the Honors College, in which case you'll be living in a living learning community with other Honors College students. You get faculty interaction, uh, special lectures, and a bunch of scholarships. So really, as far as academics goes, I want to let you know, again, whether you have an idea of what you want to study or not, uh, Youngstown State University has a bunch of different options. And towards the end of the program, if you want to learn more about a specific area, just simply type it in the um, chat box. And either myself or one of my colleagues can give you some more information on your program of choice. Aside from academics, there's a lot of support services for our students out there. So we don't just get you enrolled and kick you out the door and hope that you get a degree. We really want to make sure that you do well as a student and that you're happy. So 
first and foremost, uh, everything starts with your academic advisors. So very similar to what you're used to at the high school level with your school counselors. At the college level, you are gonna have a professional advisor that is gonna keep you on track to graduate in four years. So they're gonna recommend courses for you. They're gonna go over their curriculum with you. They're gonna give you career guidance. So they're really uh, a great support for you within your program. Aside from that, there's a lot of other support, like our Center for Student Progress. They offer free tutoring for every subject that we offer. So personally, I had a hard time in math at the college level. I need to use tutoring. Um, if you need help with reading and study skills, writing, we have the Math Assistance Center. Um, there's a lot of different support for you outside the classroom as well. We also have student counseling services. So, you know, college, it can be stressful and there's a lot going on. So if you ever need to meet with a licensed counselor, we have them on campus and we also have disability services. So for students who are on IEP or maybe need additional test taking time at the high school level, we have all of those services and many, many more at the college level. Again, just to make sure that you're doing well both in and outside the classroom. Student life is the third part of this. And um, I wanna tell you that if you're not excited for college, you should be, it is going to be the best time of your life. You're here for an education and that's why you come to college but you're gonna to wanna to make it a well-rounded experience. And that's where student life comes into play. So we have so many different ways for you to be active outside the classroom. As I mentioned in my introduction, we are a division one school. So if you're interested in playing D1 sports at YSU, I would recommend going to ysusports.com and checking that out. I like sports. I was not a division one level athlete, but I did play a bunch of intramural and co-ed rec sports at the university. So you have that option. We have a great rec center with a bunch of weightlifting and cardio equipment, a 53 uh, foot rock wall. We have an eighth mile track. There's spinning and yoga and Zumba classes. So if you like to be active, we have a great gym. And also I wanna mention that um, if maybe you're more of a spectator, all of our students get free season tickets to all of our athletic events. So uh, football season, again, is a ton of fun. We have a great men and women's basketball program. Our track program is excellent. We win, win like the Horizon League every year. So there's a lot of really great spectating options as well. Aside from that, there's over 250 plus student organizations on our campus you can get involved in. Greek Life, I was involved in Greek Life, really liked that as a student. There's student government, there's honor societies, there's we uh, study abroad opportunities, there's a squirrel watching club at YSU, there's a Harry Potter Alliance, we have video game clubs, we have pretty much anything that you could think of to get involved in, there's gonna be opportunities for you. Even student employment, working on campus, if you're gonna work while you're in college, work for the university, it's just a great way to be more integrated in campus and you're gonna meet a bunch of people that way as well. <clears throat> Without getting on a soapbox, I just wanna say in general that college is gonna be 100% what you make of it. So um, yes, there are students at YSU that go to class, they go back to their residence halls and play video games all day. and you know, those students ultimately will get their degree, but in my opinion, they're going to miss out on what makes college great. And it's not only the learning in the classroom, but it's the meeting new people and trying new things outside of the classroom. College is going to be your chance to totally reinvent yourself. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking, yeah, you know, I really wish I would have been more active in high school. Or I wish I would have did this or that. College is going to be your chance to do it. You come in here with a fresh slate. You're going to be meeting all new people. When you're old like me and you look back to college, I think you're gonna really like the classes that you take, but my fondest memories of Youngstown State are the people I met, the opportunities that I got to take part in and everything else that really made it that whole experience. So my advice would be just take advantage of the full opportunity and the full college experience. <clears throat> All right. So moving on, I wanna talk about residence life. Youngstown State University does not require students to live on campus at all, um, not their first year, not all four years. Uh, I highly encourage students to live on campus. A large portion of students do choose to live at YSU. Our halls actually fill up uh, organically on their own. Um, there are a bunch of housing options here at the university. In front of you, you see the YSU halls. Those are the halls that are owned by the university and the halls that are tied into our room and board fees. But we have a bunch of other options that are on and around campus that are not owned by the university, but only catered to YSU students. So like Beaconer Hall, for example, is an all girls residence hall right here at YSU. The Flats at Wick, Erie Terminal, University Edge, the Enclave, the Lofts, those are all independently owned apartments. So one, two, three, four bedroom apartments with your own bathroom and your own kitchen. So you can totally pick and choose what you wanna do. We even have students that rent houses just off campus and walk here. It's totally up to you. 
I do want to briefly show you a video that's going to kind of showcase the Kilcally House, which is one of YSU's residence halls. Welcome to Kilcally House, one of the five on-campus residence halls here at Youngstown State University. Kilcally is located right in the center of campus, a short walk from any of your class buildings. Kilcally House is adjacent to the Student Center, where you'll have easy access to a number of restaurants and places to hang out and relax with friends. Kilcally House is a traditional style residence hall with mostly double rooms. It has seven floors and houses about 225 students. The building is co-ed, while each floor is women only or men only. Each floor has a spacious community bathroom and a lounge space for students to relax. Your room comes with one lofted bed, one standard height bed, as well as a wardrobe and a desk for each person. Every room comes equipped with a small refrigerator and a microwave for your convenience. The micro fridge unit is shared by the residents of the room. Wi-Fi is included in all rooms as well as wired internet ports for your devices. The rooms have all the basic necessities and are highly customizable. Residents are encouraged to be creative with the space, so bring your own stuff and make the room your own. The basement of Kilcally House is the family room of the building. This area includes a large kitchen, a dining area, a rec area, a computer lab, and even soundproof music rooms. The front desk has pots and pans and all the basic tools you need when you're in the mood to whip something up. This area also includes the free laundry room so you can put your clothes in while you do other things. All residents of Kilcoli House also enroll in a residential meal plan. You'll have most of your meals at the Crispin Dining Hall, which offers a variety of food and beverage and works on an all-you-care-to-eat system. The dining hall provides many student favorites including many healthy options. Your meal plan allows you the flexibility to go to the YSU Dunkin' Donuts, Chick-fil-A, as well as other options on and around campus on occasion. Every summer, our housing staff makes improvements to our halls, and we take pride in the fact that our buildings are kept looking good. We also work hard to keep the buildings clean and well-maintained each and every day. Our cleaning crew is on hand around the clock, cleaning restrooms and common areas. Bathrooms are cleaned and disinfected at least twice a day. One of the most important distinctions about living on campus is the fact that trained professional staff members live in the building. Our full-time housing coordinators manage the building and supervise the RA staff. RAs live on your floor and will be a resource for you as you get acquainted with campus. The work of the coordinators and RAs centers around three primary areas. Concern for resident safety, providing a clean, well-maintained quality facility, and encouraging a friendly social atmosphere. The staff also plans floor and house activities to help you get to know your neighbors and to make living on campus an enjoyable experience. Lastly, let's talk about safety. We take your safety very seriously, and we work closely with the YSU police to make sure all safety protocols are followed. We have trained staff on site 24 hours a day and video surveillance in the common areas of the building. Your Y card is your key to the building, and only residents and approved guests will be admitted into the halls. Each room door has a lock and deadbolt. You can feel comfortable and safe at YSU Housing. You can apply for YSU Housing by navigating directly to our website at housing.ysu.edu. All right, so again, just kind of a brief video about the different housing options at Youngstown State. What's going on here? Sorry about that. I don't know why that was doing that. That's just one of the many halls that we offer. Um, so again, if you are interested in learning more, I would highly recommend visiting our residence life page. Um, so moving into cost, I, I actually, you know, taking a step back there, I also want to mention that all students are allowed to have cars on campus at YSU, regardless of your class standing. So if you do have a, a vehicle and you'd like to bring it to YSU, the one nice thing about living in the uh, YSU halls, you actually park right next to the building. So it is very convenient. Um, as far as costs go, Youngstown State University truly prides itself on affordability. So not only are we one of the most affordable institutions in the state of Ohio, but nationally as well. So being that you all live in the state of Ohio, I just want to briefly go over the cost of attendance. So we do have three different tuition categories. So for Ohio residents, you're actually going to be looking at the red tuition in-state category. So the costs are broken down into two different sections. You see the total commuter cost of 95.8848. 
That is your full year of tuition at Youngstown State University. That includes uh, a full-time student, so 12 to 18 credit hours. Uh, and these costs are actually locked in for four years. So you would fall in what's called the Penguin Tuition Promise. So tuition rates will never be raised on you. That is truly for students who want to commute. So whether you drive from home or you live in an independently owned apartment around campus or you rent a house, that cost there includes just strictly tuition. If you'd like to live in a YSU residence hall like Kilcauley House, which is one of the ones we just featured, the annual room and board cost is $9,700 a year. So that includes your room in the YSU hall, your meal plan, cable, laundry, internet, everything the video basically showed. So um, your total cost for a full academic year there, including tuition, would be $19,323.48. The only cost that's not included here, um, one of the main costs I should say is books. Books are independent of these costs. So these are some of the baseline costs that we have at the university. There are a ton of different ways to curve the cost. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what's called our freshman excellence scholarships. The freshman excellence scholarships are admission-based scholarships, which means as long as you get the application in, we're automatically going to review you for these scholarships, meaning no separate application is needed. The entry-level scholarship here at Youngstown State University, the first opportunity, requires a GPA of 3.0 or above and either an ACT of 19 or an SAT of 990. If you receive those, if you have those two criteria, you actually get a $1,000 award per year. And as you can see, as the criteria increases, so does the award amount. Clear up until the trustee scholarship. So if you are ranked number one in your class or tied for number one in your class, meaning you're valedictorian, you automatically get $5,000 a year award, regardless of your test score. These uh, scholarships are all renewable for three additional years, as long as you maintain full-time status, which is 12 credit hours or more per semester and a B average, so a 3.0 or above. Um, you will notice that we are requiring GPA and test score for our scholarships right now. When I talk about admissions, I will mention that we are test optional for admission, but currently for scholarships, we are requiring the ACT or SAT. So these are uh, some of our, again, admission-based scholarships, but there's a bunch of other scholarships at the university that you would have separate applications for that can stack on top of these specific scholarships. One is the University Scholars Award. That is tied in with our Honors College. So again, in order to be eligible for Honors College, you need to have a 3.5 GPA and either a 26 ACT or 1240 SAT. If you have that criteria and you apply for Honors, you're automatically being basically put into consideration for what's called the University Scholars Award, which is a full ride scholarship. The university does not give a lot of full ride scholarships out, but if you meet the honors criteria and you don't get the University Scholars Award, there's still a one to $3,000 academic award and a one to $3,000 housing award that our honors college students will get that again, will stack back on these scholarships. And in order to even be eligible for the honors college, you're looking at getting at least the Dean's scholarship here, which means, you know, if you get in the honors college, it's gonna cover a decent portion of your tuition and housing. Aside from that, there are 700 plus scholarships on our financial aid webpage. So grants and uh, departmental based scholarships. In order to apply for those scholarships, you fill out one application. It's called the foundation application. And by filling that out, it will automatically apply you for any scholarships you're applicable for. So my point to this slide is you want to get as much money out of the schools as possible. You're working really hard in the classroom. You have your entire high school career, you know, Make the schools compete for you for a little bit. I'm going to tell you right now, we 100% want you to be YSU Penguins. Every other school that you're talking with is the same way. So I always tell students, you know, when you um, start getting those financial aid packets sent to you, you're really going to get a feel for what the base costs are and what the scholarships that you're going to be awarded are. I feel very confident in YSU. I know we have great academic programs. We have a beautiful campus. We are also one of the most affordable schools, which means you will leave here with as little to no debt as possible. Okay. Moving on, I want to quickly move through the steps to becoming a YSU Penguin. So the first step to becoming a YSU Penguin is by filling out the application. The application is available online. It's 100% online application at apply.ysu.edu, or you can just go to the ysu.edu page and uh, search application or apply. You'll find it. 
We are not a part of the common application. Our institutional application, I promise you, will take you five minutes to fill out. It is very easy. It's about the same amount of time that it would take for you to submit the common app with the supplement. So it really is um, a very quick application. So you'd fill that out. There is a $45 application fee. If a student is on a free reduced lunch plan, we do accept fee waivers. So just talk with your school counselor and have that sent over to us. And then we are requiring your high school transcripts. So completion of junior year. So if the students that are watching right now, if you're current seniors, you can send those in. If you're juniors, um, as soon as you complete your junior year, uh, our applications usually go live, you know, like late June of uh, the summer. So 2022, if you're a junior, um, but you'd submit your transcripts. <clears throat> if you're in AP or IB classes, we're more than happy to give you college credit for those, but we do need the official test scores. Same with the CLEP test. Uh, again, please send those scores. We are test optional. So technically getting your application in and the high school transcripts is all we need for review. The ACT or SAT scores are very important. I'll talk about the application review in a second, but aside from uh, reviewing for admission, as you know, they are used for scholarship, the honors college and placement. So if you've taken that, we highly recommend you send those test scores into us. If you haven't, but you plan to in the future, just have them sent to us whenever you take them. And then last but not least, college transcripts. If you're doing any dual enrollment work through like a local community college or four-year school near you, um, please have those sent into us. We're more than happy to give you college credit for them, but we cannot take those credits off of a high school transcript. We do need the official college transcript if you're doing like a college credit plus program. So let's look at the deadlines real quick. If you are current seniors, the priority deadline for YSU would be February 15th of 2021. The priority deadline is February 15th because if you get everything in by that deadline, you will be eligible for the majority of the scholarships that we offer. And also you will uh, be eligible for early orientation, which I'll talk about a little later. Also, you'll notice the summer deadline is April 15th. So if you get everything in by February 15th and you decide, you know what, I actually do want to take some classes prior to starting in the fall, you'll have the ability to do that. As far as requirements go, so um, just giving you some averages, the average uh, student GPA for the class of 2020 was a 3.5 GPA, a 22 ACT, and a 1080 SAT. You saw where the scholarships levels are as well. Um, I do want to mention that we can admit students with low as a C average, so a 2.0 GPA, as long as you have a 2.0 in your core curriculum and you have either a 17 ACT or 920 SAT. We also have the test optional policy. So that's a more holistic review. So if you don't have test scores, essentially what we're looking for is at least a BC average in all of your core area classes. Uh, so core meaning English, math, science, social studies, and foreign language if you've taken one. If you've taken the ACT or SAT and you think your scores are low, those scores cannot hurt you. So please submit those regardless. If you're not admissible through a general review with your test scores, we will remove them and we will review you test optional. So again, I highly recommend, you know, wherever you're at and whether you've taken the test or not, please get your application in and we will look at you however we can that's going to most benefit you. After being admitted, you will be placed. Um, and essentially placement is initially based off of your ACT or SAT subscores. The reason placement is important is because all students, regardless of major, are required to take two college composition classes in some form of math. So um, if you've taken the ACT or SAT, we'll use those accordingly. You can see the chart here kind of shows how the English placement works. If you're below a 17, um, actually even below an 18, you actually will uh, place into a remedial or a college prep class. Uh, which we will actually opt to have you take the placement test. The goal here is to get you to start in the highest math and English as possible. If you haven't taken the ACT or SAT, you will automatically will take placement testing. If you have dual enrollment or AP credits coming in, and maybe you've already taken a college composition or math, we will bring that in for credit if we can, and we'll start you in the next highest class. So again, the point of this is to start you as high as possible. And then finally, orientation. Orientation is your chance, hopefully this year, to physically come to campus. Last year, it was a virtual program. But regardless, it's your chance to meet with uh, a smaller cohort of incoming future Penguins. Um, you're going to get your YSU ID. You're going to do some ice breaking activities. But most importantly, this is when you schedule your classes. So you will meet with your advisor and actually schedule that day. 
I would highly recommend getting into the earliest orientation as possible. I don't know how you are, but when I was done with high school, I'm like, I don't want to start any kind of eight o'clock classes in college. So I started at 10 a.m. And, and loved it. And some students maybe only want to take classes three days a week. Some students maybe want to take night classes. The cool thing about college is you get to pick and choose when your classes are. If you get into the earliest orientation possible, that means that you are going to have the most availability of classes out there. So uh, if you want to get a nice tight knit schedule or maybe you want to have lunch at, at noon or whatever you and schedule a break, the earlier the orientation, the better. So those essentially are the three steps to becoming a YSU Penguin. This would be a good time now. If any of you have any questions, feel free to, again, put them in the Q&A box, the chat box. But at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mario, one of our current students, and he's going to give a little overview of what it's like to be a student here at Youngstown State. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Mario. I'm a third year criminal justice major here at YSU uh, with a focus in forensic science. Um, so here at YSU, there's a whole bunch of stuff to get involved with. Um, here at YSU, I like to say that we have a small uh, campus, but a huge community. Um, here, everyone, uh, I believe, thinks um, we're all family here, uh, especially with all the organizations that um, we have here, 250 plus organizations. Um, and if you don't uh, feel like you fit in, in any of those organizations, you can start your own club here at YSU. All you need is just five people um, five students and an ed, uh, advisor to start your own club here. Um, so that's all you really need uh, to join or to create your own club. Uh, but other than that, my, uh, my involvement here with YSU started with first year student services. Um, I got involved with, their, uh, with them in their offices, help uh, first year students come in and get used to campus, get them acclimated and more comfortable to uh, go around campus, go to classes, uh, get involved here at YSU. And then uh, just from there, that snowball effect. Um, I got involved with uh, admissions uh, here, and now I'm a tour guide here at YSU. This is my third year doing it. Um, love the job. And uh, from there, I joined Greek Life, um, part of Sigma Tau Gamma Fraternity. I uh, love it. Greek Life is a huge part of YSU as well with all of our philanthropy events that we do. Uh, here at YSU. Ours is uh, Special Olympics, and we have a whole bunch of others that support uh, breast cancer awareness, Pink Ribbon, um, Akron's Children Hospital, a whole bunch of other uh, philanthropies as well. So they are getting their volunteering hours in. Um, so they're really doing work in the community as well. I'm also involved with Social Media Ambassador as well. Um, so I uh, have my own social media page on YSU. Uh, YSU Graham underscore Mario, uh, go follow it. Um, <laughs> but I post just updates, uh, events here on campus, all stuff like that, just to get uh, people more involved here at YSU and students that are currently going, um, still involved, especially during this uh, time that we're in right now, especially because everything's virtual. Um, we try to keep students uh, online um, and involved as much as possible. But other than that, I love it here. YSU is a great school to go to, especially for um, any like majors that you're willing to do um, going through. So uh, it's a great place to get your schooling done as well. So, yeah. Okay. Thank good. you. And that brings us to questions. So if anybody has any questions for myself, for Mario about his student experience, about maybe a major you're interested in, campus life, any of that stuff, please submit those. I will say that um, throughout your college search, I think there's really three main areas that you should consider. The first is, does the school have my major of choice? And if you don't know what you want to study, does the school have a lot of different majors so that you can come in and try out a lot of things? And I, I think we certainly meet the bill there, over 115 different majors. The second is campus fit. Campus fit is really, really important. So, I mean, I know it's kind of a weird time right now and there's a lot of virtual presentations. I would strongly encourage you all to visit as many college campuses as you can. As I said in the beginning of my presentation, we are offering uh, in-person visits two to three times a day. Um, so again, if you go to the visit.ysu.edu page, there is a virtual calendar. We would love to have you on campus. Our campus is actually very, very nice. It's uh, We are a tree campus USA, which means we have a ton of trees. It's very park-like. It's very nice uh, for a division one school. It's not too big. It's not too small. It really is a great size. And so outside of campus fit, 
The third thing is definitely cost. And as I said, the financial aid slide, um, you know, again, the goal would be for you to get a great education and not to take on a bunch of student loans. And why issue again, before student loan debt was a big thing, why issue has always been one of the most affordable options out there. So if you're looking for a great education and you don't want to take on a lot of debt, I think again, we are one of the top choices there. So those are the three areas that I'd highly encourage you all to kind of consider as you're looking. Um, so I'm not seeing any questions. I want to throw something back on Mario. Mario, if you could give students coming in from high school some advice for their college, uh, what would you give? What kind of advice would you give them? Make sure uh, your study habits are down, um, especially me coming in. I really, uh, school for me was natural. I really didn't have to study that much. Um, in high school, I just aced all my tests. I didn't really have to try. Uh, coming in first semester, that was a big mistake. I thought I could do great, uh, um, but I actually had to study. Um, and then I used the CSP. We have a whole bunch of uh, vol or tutoring uh, spaces available for students here at YSU too. It's free for students to go in and just uh, get tutored. So I took advantage of that and um, that helped me tremendously um, my first semester and second semester. But definitely getting the study uh, habits down, make sure you have a planner, make sure you're writing everything down that's due, um, especially now. I mean, <laughs> everything's just all combined now online and those due dates can get jumbled up. Um, so you can definitely get confused real easily. So um, definitely just get those study habits um, under control. So, yeah. And for the students uh, attending this, you may uh, be wondering, Youngstown State University currently we're running under five different modalities. So we, we do have students that are on campus and we have students learning virtually. And then there's a bunch of hybrid classes where they're in class a certain days and they're online others. So we do physically have students here on campus, but we do have online options as well currently right now. Um, we have two more minutes. I don't see any questions. Mario, I got another one for you. Yeah. What would you say is one of your most favorite memories of being a student here at Youngstown State? Uh, memories uh, here, uh, we'll have two of them. Uh, one's Greek life, uh, just uh, for our philanthropy polar plunge. That was one, one of the most uh, exciting and thrilling rushing events that we had. It's just we jump into a lake. Um, and we run out it's real fast. Um, and we, <laughs> run, we raised a whole bunch of money, um, negative degree water, uh, really cold out. And then my second one is penguin nights. We love some penguin nights here at YSU. Um, it's an event that runs from 10, uh, 10 PM to 2 AM. It's free for students, free food, free games, free activities. You can win big prizes. Um, a smart TV, Apple headphones, beats, all that. Um, those are really fun, great memories to make uh, through those as well. Very cool, very cool. All right, well, we probably have about 20 seconds left. So I wanna thank you all for attending this session. We really appreciate it. In front of you is the email address and phone number of our office. We are more than happy to help you. Uh, we know the transition from high school to college can be stressful. We wanna take all that stress away from you. So if you ever have any questions, please reach out to us and we hope that you have a great rest of your high school experience. Thank you again for attending. We appreciate it.